Stephen here from History Hustle, and I'm standing here in Fort Cornwallis, here in Georgetown on the island of Penang, which is part of Malaysia. And in this video, I'll talk about the British colonization of Malaysia, or actually, I should say, Malaya, the Malayan Peninsula where the island of Penang is part of. Now, the British were there in the waters around Malaya from the 17th century. But it was Sir Francis Light here behind me who landed on the island of Penang in 1786 where he founded a trading post called Georgetown named after the British King George III. In 1819 the British took Singapore and in 1824 there was a Treaty of London, a treaty with the Dutch where the Dutch handed over Malacca to the British and in return for that they got Sumatra. Now there were different sultanates here on the Malayan Peninsula but they worked together with the British because they feared the Thai became a mightier empire and was much more threatened to their sultanates. Now these Malayan states were often fighting each other. The British didn't really mind unless it didn't hinder their trade. There was a active trade here in tin and spices. When it did hinder the British trade, the British occupied the Malayan states and this happened during the 19th century. The British occupied Malayan as the following. There were the Federate Malayan states, they were under direct British rule. There were the non-Federated Malayan states, they were supervised by the British but they had their own laws. And then there was also the Straits Settlement of which Penang, where we're now, and also Singapore were part of. The British brought in a lot of Chinese and Indian immigrant workers. And at the eve of World War II, however it was called British Malaya, you cannot say there was any unity in either ethnicity or state.